About six months ago, I embarked on a journey to extreme declutter my entire home. There was so much to declutter that it took me from the month of January all the way to the month of May just to go through each section of the house. Did I get rid of a lot of stuff? Yes. Did I get my house decluttered exactly how I want it? No. But was it worth it? Yes. I am constantly and continuously decluttering my home even though I've completed my extreme declutter for this year. I'm not aiming to live a minimalist life, but I do want to have a home that is easy to take care of. So with that in mind, I'm going to take you on a step-by-step -step tour of each location that I decluttered. I will show you what it looked like before I decluttered, and what it looked like once I finished, and then what it looks like today. I posted a video of each decluttering project on my YouTube channel, so as I go, I will post the corresponding video up above in the card section if you'd like to see exactly how I decluttered that space. Let's get started. The first place that I started my decluttering journey was in my bedroom at these built-in shelves. This is what they looked like before. This is what it looked like after I decluttered it. And this is what it looks like today, which is six months later. I'm really happy with this because I use these shelves quite a bit to keep things I don't want to misplace, but as a part of my weekly cleaning, I will tidy it up to keep it from getting cluttered up again. Location number two was the large cabinet located directly outside of my bathroom. This one was extremely bad to the point where if you opened it, things would fall out and hit you in the face or land on your foot. Here's what they looked like after I decluttered them. And this is what they look like now. I definitely have found uses for some of the empty gaps, like storing backup paper products on the top. We purchased a few fluffy towels which now live in here as well. I like these because it allows me to have a lot of small items all contained together so they don't fall all over the place. I'm also using a couple baskets and bags to hold like items together so I can easily find my hair products versus my face products, for example. Now the cleaners have gotten a little out of order since I use them every week to clean, but I'm not too worried about it because I'm going to be using up a lot of those and tossing them once I do on my deep cleaning series, which I'll be working on next. Another thing I did during this bathroom cabinet declutter was create a use it up bin. Here's what it looked like when I first filled it up, and here's what my basket is looking like now. I've really enjoyed having these products all together in a basket that I can take into the bathroom because I'm so much more likely to use them. Next up, we have my clothes closet. As you can see, it was jam-packed before I decluttered it. I was hardly wearing any of it because it was too overwhelming. After a few days of decluttering, it turned out like this. I tried everything on so I knew it would fit, and I put off-season clothing into those Tupperware container drawers. I also donated so many articles of clothing that I really felt like a huge weight was off my shoulders. Here's what my closet looks like now. For the most part, it stayed pretty much the same. Here I have a box of my journaling material and stationary stuff, and I use that pretty frequently. And here, like I said, is the off-season clothing, although it's starting to get warmer and I'll need to do some switching. Here are some warm weather shirts I brought out and I just need to sort them in by color to the rest of the hanging shirts. All right, on to the next location. Ready to see some really messy cabinets? Yeah, the next place I decluttered was the wall-to-wall -wall storage cabinets in my basement living room. A lot of this clutter was just from when we first moved in. We brought a lot of stuff we just didn't know what to do with. By the time I had gone through and decluttered everything, I had gained a lot of free space to use. This was a really important step in my decluttering series for me because I could use that freed up space for other items that I would find along the way. Here's what those shelves look like now. Items have been added, so it is fuller than after I decluttered it, but now I know where everything is, and the most important takeaway from this declutter project is that my decor is organized by holiday and labeled so that I can keep it looking organized unlike before. The next project we tackled was me and Jose's dressers. This is what they looked like before decluttering. And here's how they looked afterwards. This is one of the projects that was most enjoyable because we do use these dressers every day and it's so nice having them organized again. Here's what the dressers look like today. As you can see, they've maintained the organized state. Some of them are a little bit full and others have a few gaps here and there for where I've taken stuff out and I'm waiting for it to come back from the laundry. And now we are going to check on Jose's dresser, which I usually don't go in that much, so we'll see if he kept it up. Also, you can see up here he added a hook for face masks. Alright, so sock drawer looks like we've got a couple pairless socks, but otherwise it looks really good. PJs still look good. It's full, but it's organized. 
He did buy some jeans the other day, so this drawer is a little more filled out too, but it's folded nicely. All in all, I'm impressed. Good job, Jose. So this next area is our basement kitchenette. I used this space for making lattes, storing snacks, and an area for pet supplies. So this area actually needs some help again because when I decluttered it, Jose wasn't going to work because of COVID, but now he is. So we just went grocery shopping not too long ago and grabbed packed lunch snacks for him and I need to organize it. So let's get that done right now. Alright, so we fixed up the top shelf for lunch snacks, and I just tidied up the middle shelf for cat supplies, and the bottom shelf is for movie snacks with our popcorn maker and stuff. Before I show you the next location, I wanted to share with you something I received to help me in my decluttering and organizing endeavors. The company Quinwery Quinwery reached out to me so that I could try one of their products, so I'm unboxing a space-saving basket that goes underneath a shelf or cabinet. I'm going to show you a few different ways to use this, but leave me a comment below voting on which way you think I should use the basket. The first way I tried using the basket was to save space on my pantry shelves in my garage. I always hate trying to find a way to store pasta bags and boxes because they are odd shaped and don't stack very nicely, so this basket is perfect for keeping them all together and tidy. I also really like this basket because it requires no effort to install, which is great for someone like me who hates reading instruction manuals. Look at all the extra space I just made on this shelf. Okay, the next way I tried out this basket is by using it as a launch pad for all of the items that I need when leaving the house. I am definitely the type to lose my debit card somewhere in the house or forget to take my phone with me before I leave. So this works great as a station to keep items that you want to stay in one place. The last way I purposed this undershelf basket is to add space at my coffee station. I love using the bottom hooks because even though it looks mainly like a paper towel rack, it can be used to hang anything from house keys or hair scrunchies like in my last example, or in this example, it makes a good coffee mug rack. All right, now cast your votes. Which way do you think I should use my undershelf basket? Let me know in the comments below. I've also included a link to the product below in the description box, as well as a 10% off coupon code. Make sure to check out Quinwery Quinwery because they have all sorts of cool kitchen and home gadgets listed on Amazon. Alright, let's get back to this tour. So what you're seeing now is the before footage from when I decluttered the room in our basement that we referred to as the side room, because it's mainly used just for storing things in. This was definitely one of the messiest places that I tackled, and as you can see, the aftershot looks like a completely different room. This is what the room looks like now that it's been lived in since the declutter. For the most part, it's still really good, but we do keep a lot of random items that just kind of have no homes otherwise. We have some exercise equipment, musical instruments, some furniture that we don't use often but still want to keep, in here is mainly Jose's closet, but I'm using this side for off-season clothing that I still need to try on. His clothes still look orderly. That room wrapped up the decluttering for the basement level of the house, and the first project we tackled upstairs was the pantries. Right now you're seeing a montage of the before and after shots. This project was important because during the pandemic, we were stocking up on food more than we normally would since we would shop about once every three months to avoid going out. Now that we can have smaller shopping trips more frequently, it's easier to have a flow of groceries coming in and out of the pantries.
This is what the pantries look like now. They still are tidy, but adjustments have been made along the way to make it more usable for us. The last video before we take it to the garage was kind of my way of decluttering all of the loose ends. We had these really messy catch-all drawers that are looking so much better now. Here they are today, and we are using the left drawer as an area for clothes mending since it's right next to our laundry station. This drawer just has some random kitchen type stuff that we don't use often, but honestly it's so much cleaner in these than it was before, so I'm happy about that. Here's the before and after shot of the cabinet underneath the china cabinet. This is what it looks like now, and honestly, it looks exactly the same, so that's good. Then we have the desk, which is a spot that we use a lot. This is what it was looking like before. The drawers and shelves in it were just holding stuff we didn't really use, so I went through all of that, and here's what it looks like when I finished. We use these files for important documents, and the green basket on top is for collecting them when we get mail and stuff. So every once in a while, one of the chores that we do is to go through the green basket and file any papers to keep it looking good and organized. Alright, last but not least, let's revisit the garage. Not only was there a lot of storage containers to go through, but also since it was finally spring, we could move out a lot of the flower pots and patio furniture that normally lives in the garage during the winter. Here's what it looked like after. And here's what it looks like now. It's still all cleaned up, thankfully, and very spacious compared to before. We just bought those barrels for flowers the other day, and today's Memorial Day, so our grill is outside. My sister did also bring some Tupperware containers for us to sort through, but other than that, it's looking good. In our garage, we also have this little room space, and it was packed to the brim with outdoor decor and storage. Here's what it looked like afterwards. What really helped was using Tupperwares for fake flowers because they originally were a hot mess. Here's what that room looks like today. For now, I'm storing the large tools like rakes and shovels in there because it's out of the way and we don't use this space for walking around in or anything. The wall is actually made of pegboard, so eventually I wanna get more hooks so we can hang them up and get them off the floor. And with that wraps up the end of this extreme decluttering project tour. I hope this video gave you some decluttering motivation. If it did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because up next I am going to be starting a new extreme series all about deep cleaning. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, bye.